So here we are uh, in Manitou Springs, Colorado at about 7,000 feet above sea level on April 4th. Last night we got a heavy spring snow of about 12 inches so far. From here you can see the buds on the apple tree it started to bloom and now it's covered in snow um, this is the town you can just barely make out the town below and <clears throat> as we walk through the food forest we come up on this beautiful greenhouse four season passive solar greenhouse with an aquaponic system and let's go inside see how see how things are going As we step into the greenhouse, when I came out here this morning, the temperature was 46 degrees. I got this fire going inside of our rocket stove. You can see it's already heating things up. It's currently up to um, 50 degrees. So it's warmed up quite a bit uh, with the burning. The, the way that this works is that <coughs> this rocket stove, um, and if you want more information on a rocket stove, feel free to ask or um, do a Google search on them. They're really pretty unique things. But the rocket stove basically heats this mass that is underneath this wrapped grow bed that's across the top. And it heats up the water for the aquaponics system. Um, and then we have this awesome grow bed. Um, we can see, <clears throat> it really is impressive. These kale plants were actually seedlings that I started at the same time that I started these uh, kale plants. And you can see the dramatic difference in the way that they grow you know, compared to dirt and compared to an aquaponic system. This kale is much, much, much bigger than uh, that kale over there. Yet it was actually started at the exact same time and under the same conditions. They were just transplanted later in different places. Um, we've got all kinds of berries here. We've got currants and goji berries that are going to go out in the spring <clears throat> into the yard. I'm going to add those into the food forest. We have beans that are vining up this trellis quite nicely and then down here I just started a new um, round of snap peas. This will be our second round of snap peas in uh, just the spring. This was our first round, um, which produced quite a bit, and it's still still producing. Um, and then we have our tomato plant here, which is just going absolutely bonkers. I've had to get creative with my uh, string talents. see what do we have going on here just recently put this pepper plant in um, this was a small seedling it'll be interesting to see how well this pepper plant grows over time compared to this pepper plant which I put in the dirt um, and I planted those uh, transplanted those into there at the same time so it'll be interesting to see how well they grow <coughs> 
I also have four different kinds of tomatoes. That's an Illini tomato. This is a Sioux tomato. Um, and this is a Carneros tomato and then a cherry tomato. Um, this Sioux tomato seems to be a little slower growing than some of the other ones. Um, I'm not sure why. I may not grow that tomato anymore. Um, we can see as we traverse across this front bed, we have rosemary, carrots, uh, some more beans. I've taken some green onions and spread green onions all over. Oh look! We also have one of our happy little gardening friends. You can see a ladybug. The greenhouse is filled with ladybugs. They they seem to like it in here. And I like having them. They're a great pest control. They were great at eating uh, mealybugs and um, aphids. These are all uh, edible flowers along this back that I'm growing. They should do pretty well. Um, I just recently, uh, yesterday, threw some cilantro seeds in here. I really have uh, been enjoying just throwing seeds in here and watching what happens. Uh, here's some bib lettuce that I just put in here three days ago and you can see it's already, it's already bursting. Here's some more uh, tomatoes that I threw in. A little okra is starting to pop up. And over here we've got some Italian basil. <coughs> the celery, uh, which I've pretty much just been growing more and more celery off of this one plant that I started from seed. Uh, here's some standard Genovese basil and uh, there's a Brussels sprout and underneath the snap peas here I've actually started uh, sprouting cucumbers and I'm hoping these cucumbers will eventually uh, take over during the summer and here's another shot of this ridiculously giant uh, tomato this tomato plant is actually a volunteer tomato plant. I don't know what kind it is. Somehow it just magically appeared in my yard um, over the fall as a small plant. I brought it into the greenhouse uh, and it grew incredibly well over the throughout the winter and produced a lot of um, a lot of plants. A lot of yummy tomatoes all winter long. And so uh, <clears throat> more of the babies just started coming up out of the soil and I have been uh, I don't have any seeds for them but they seem to volunteer everywhere they go and they're uh, they, they produce incredibly well uh, that's pretty much it things are heating up water it's currently 65 degrees out, or 65 degrees, um, so the water is actually pretty, pretty comfortable at this point. I uh, can't really see the fish very well, um, but you can see here, the water is at a 65, which the tilapia seem to be okay with that. Um, there's my... Everything is working as it should. And it's incredible. Aquaponics statement. 